Hello, my name is Jonathan Peterson. I'm a markets economist on the FX Market Service. Today is Friday, May 6th, and this is your week in review. This week was dominated by central banks and the ongoing battle with inflation. On the one hand, we saw a few central banks turn even more hawkish, notably India's RBI, which unexpectedly raised rates between meetings. Although we've been more hawkish than consensus, we now expect the bank to raise rates even more aggressively moving forward. Similarly, we saw policymakers in the Czech Republic, Chile, and Australia raise rates more than expected. On the other hand, we're starting to see a few banks be more cautious in their outlooks for tightening policy, notably the Bank of England. Although it raised rates in line with expectations, it emphasized its downward revisions to GDP growth, as well as the role that lower real incomes are going to play in bringing inflation down. Our view remains that they're going to continue to raise more than markets expect to 3% by the end of this cycle. And finally, the Federal Reserve struck a much more balanced tone when it raised rates by 50 basis points. Initially, equity markets and FX markets interpreted this uh, rather dovishly, rallying quite strongly on Wednesday. But much of this move was reversed on Thursday. And in general, we think that volatility is going to remain high as central banks tried to navigate the right balance between strong inflationary pressures, and growing downside risks to growth. This will be further informed, in particular for the Fed, with today's U.S. payrolls release, as well as next week's CPI release. But otherwise, next week is going to be lighter on the data front, with a few central bank meetings, as well as inflation data released across emerging Europe and Latin America. Next week, we'll also be hosting a series of drop-ins, one of which is going to be covering the renminbi, as well as the overall outlook for China, and then I'll be joined by a few colleagues from the markets team to discuss what all these central bank meetings and the evolving macro environment means for equities, bonds, and FX markets. I hope you'll join us. I wish you a pleasant weekend and thank you for tuning in.